Lenny, how are you doing? I'm actually doing all right. Really? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's you know, in one respect, it's it's oh, there's a lot going on, and it's quite sort of there are ways in which you can think of it as stressful. But actually, it's a pretty lovely place, yeah. and people are being extremely nice to me and to all of us. And there's a tremendous amount of goodwill around the around the film, so it's hard not to just you know, you have to sit back and go, you know what, this is great, and I'm going to enjoy it. Sweet I've been in the world 37 hours. That's us. We push. I see windows and hundreds of cars and birds and grandma and grandpa. Everything you start, you start because you care about it and you think it's got something and it, it, it compels you and therefore, and you believe that that's something which other people might respond to. But, uh, you know, I don't think you can ever predict what's, you know, what specifically is going to happen to a movie and you certainly can't ever expect that it will be this because this is sort of such a... I mean, it's such an extraordinarily unlikely outcome for any movie. You know, there are only like X number of places, and and it's and it's a competition which is highly, you know, subjective because there are people who vote on it, and they, you know, so so you never know. Towards the end of the first week, when everybody was settling in and Jake was settling in, and that relationship with Bree was really kind of beginning to breathe, uh, I was looking at assemblies of what we've been working on, and there was a moment there where there's something really believable about that. You're gonna love it. What? The world. You were saying to me just before we started a beautiful thing about kind of knowing that there was Irish people at the Oscars for My Left Foot. Yeah. And how, I guess, that is important for, you know, young filmmakers and, and young people yeah. with ideas to know that, you know, this is a capability for Irish people. We can, we can go far and we yeah. always have. Well, you kind of very naturally, I think, compartmentalize the world into the things that are, that you're entitled to yeah. and the things that are not for you, you know? And I remember, I also, it's very, it's a thing very much that's true of all small countries. I think, I remember when an Irish person was spoken about internationally, <laughs> you know, what they know we exist, yeah. where, and so when I saw Jim and uh, Sharon with my left foot and all the success that that had, um, that was just a sort of moment where I remember thinking, and this was long before I really seriously believed I was gonna be a filmmaker, but while I was tinkering with the idea, I just remember thinking, yeah, that that that's amazing that they that they've they have walked into that world, and and they've been able to sort of, you know, live in that world and be and be really respected in it, and and that was that was quite an empowering thing. And are you still interested in telling stories of, uh, in Dublin and telling Irish stories, um, because obviously that's what you know you've brought so many amazing Irish stories uh, to the fold. Absolutely, I mean. You know where you live. Uh, the, it's got a very particular. Um, I have a very particular intimate relationship to where I live and to the people there, and that's never going to be. Rep I can't replicate that anywhere else. So there are some projects that I'm working on which are Irish set, and there's another project with Mark O'Halloran who I uh, had the privilege of collaborating with on Adam and Paul and Garage, and we're I hope going to make another movie together set in Ireland. And um, yeah, I will always want to do that as well as making things abroad. Thank you.